Hey guys, welcome back from Classic Work. We got a interesting project going on here today. My dad's got this uh, beautiful 856 International or Farmall split in half here. He's uh, putting a clutch in it, and uh, here's the old clutch sitting right here. I believe that clutch has been in there 20 years, so that is impressive for a farm tractor. But uh, anyways, what I'm doing today is I'm actually got to put the uh, exhaust pipe on here for the muffler that comes off. The threads are stripped in it, so I got to weld it back on there. But what I was going to show y'all today is how to get a broke off bolt out. I got a bolt right here that's broke off, and we're going to do it the manly way. We're going to weld that thing on there and get it out. And I've seen a lot of people they'll drill it out or put an ease out in it and try to extract it. To me, that works like one percent of the time. If the bolt is not that stuck, then it might work. But welding it you get a hundred percent chance of it's going to come out of there one piece or another so stay tuned it's going to be good okay we're going to go over a few things before we get started i cleaned off a little bit of the rust with the grinder wasn't very much on there and the good thing is this bolt right here is sticking out a little past rather than being inside there and it wouldn't matter either way but this just gives us a little bit more meat and we have the uh we're less likely to actually weld this broke off piece to the actual base metal so that's a good thing now then what i'm fixing to do here is i'm fixing to take my rod and strike off on here and build up a little bit of metal there this does two things one it burns all this old crappy metal off the top and two it preheats the bolt so hopefully that it's enough heat that it'll expand and then this bolt will uh, contract and it'll break loose from the rust that's holding it and then we're going to weld this on right here which is a bolt now this here is a grade 8 main bolt come out of an international tractor real similar to this one it's a 12 point you don't have to have that uh, it just shows that, that that's what i have but i see a lot of people they will try to use a nut to weld on here and that works sometimes but to me it's really really tricky to do because a lot of times the nut is the wrong size for the bolt that you're trying to get out and it it, it doesn't work. I've only had it a, a handful of times that it would work, but a bolt will work and you can reuse it in case you break it off. So let's get started. God, that ain't what I think it is. Well, guys, I had a pretty good scare. Uh, my welder quit welding here, or she didn't even start. And the symptoms of what it was doing, it was arcing just like little bitty sparks. And that's a symptom of shunt coils going bad, and that's in the main generator. So I, I was super duper upset here a minute ago. But hopefully, uh, the only thing that's wrong with it is one of the uh, brushes right here got stuck in the holder. I hope that's what's wrong. It was it was sitting off the, the commutator. So, let's hope that fixes it. Had a good bit of rust stuck in there. So, apparently, last little rain we had made her stick. So, just in case you have a scare like that, you'll know what to do. Man, I'm still shaking. All right, I'm going to fire back up and see. But she wouldn't generate power, which made me believe that's what, I mean, like no uh, no 110, no auxiliary power. And that's what made me think about the gener about the uh, brushes. So we're going to fire up and see if she'll run a grinder now.
All right, guys, here's take two. Here's the bolt if anybody wanted to see it. I barely got any contact right over here. So apparently that one, this bolt right here wasn't in there too bad. If it had been in there really bad, it'd have broke that right off. I uh, probably could have got that out with the ease out, but hey, save your drill bits, use the welding rod. And there you go, you can see that it came out one piece and I didn't damage any of the threads. And uh, guys, I'm sorry I didn't go into more detail about, you know, getting up really, really close and showing you a good shot. But the arc was so bright, as you can tell, that I didn't want to blind the living frig out of all y'all. And using a shader, I thought that it wouldn't show all the detail that you need to see. But you can see all my hand props and how I got into those corners and everything. Most of the time when you weld a bolt on, you need at least three points of contact, like a, you know, like a stool. So you need at least one over here, one there, one there, vice versa. If you need, if you do two on the top and one on the bottom, that's fine. But as long as you got three, you should be good. So just a few tips on that and maybe some welder troubleshooting issues y'all may have. Uh, once again, guys, I hope you enjoyed it and hope you got something out of it. And uh, from Classic Work, y'all take care. I'll see y'all next time.